Well, hello everyone. I'm Alexis Trujillo, and this is our series, our Catapult series, Behind the Code, where we show all our stars that are involved in developing Catapult. Today, I'm very pleased to have Miss Ivy Fong. Ivy is joining us from Malaysia. Malaysia, right? Yes. Hi. Hi, Ivy. How are you? Welcome to our show. Good. Thank you. Okay. Now, Ivy, you, you are, uh, let, let, let's say, you are uh, one of our trainers, but you are, you are also a girl in a most male-dominated uh, business. How is that, and how do you feel, because I'm going to ask later, how do you feel working with them? Um, I'm very happy working with them. I would say that, like, I feel quite privileged to be one of the only girl in the team. I, I, I always make the joke saying that like, uh, I'm the only person to make break that cannot call the whole team you guys because I'm a girl. <laughs> so, so, hello guys and girl. Okay. And girl, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's, but I don't really feel that like there is any difference in terms of like whether I'm female or male in working on it. So basically, uh, each of us have our roles. So as long as like we complete our roles, I think that like it doesn't really matter that like whether uh, which gender that like we are falling into. No, no, no. And and then we have well, we we have very fine ladies ourselves, okay? And you're <laughs> one of them. You're a train. You're you're a trainer, and yeah. and and you're a trainer and, and catapult. How's that experience? It's like the uh, catapult is still in development. So basically, most of the training now that I touch on the Catapult basically is talking about like what is the new features that are going to be in Catapult and like what kind of like fantastic things like people and developer and the user can have when the Catapult uh, come in to place. So um, we are, because of this, it's creating a lot of like excitement in the market as well. So that like uh, people are kind of are looking forward and getting ready to know that like what they can expect when catapult finally be here in later this year. Okay, now now I be we well the catapult is almost out, okay? And we recently had Dragon out. Okay. What do you think is the most challenging thing working with catapult? I think like um the scarlet uh, the most important thing or the most important resources we have for everything is always the time. Now, Catapult, to my opinion, that I like, have like most of the features that like the market wants, and it take, it do takes time to make it good enough and user ready. But the good thing I find that like even though that like we are we are like trying to get it out as soon as possible, the good thing is that we have team all over the world. That I find that sometimes we might have I might have questions in Malaysia. I can like here we can raise the questions, but the time we sleep and wake up, the the questions could be like solved. So this kind of like working environment, I find it like it's, it's a good way of working, but it's kind of speed thing up as well. So I think that like, for me, time is always a challenge for anything, but I think we do have a good way in handling it. Okay, now, now you're, you're, you're telling me that, okay, but it's also refreshing to have people all, all, all around the time zones working with, with, with the project, but uh, were you involved in planning this, the, this and how the, the each, each feature is coming out? Are you involved in that? Um, basically about like the new features that is coming out, my involvement mainly is, after, uh, is like pros, uh, post-production, I would say. Okay. Yeah, in terms of helping with like documentations, refining and like find a way to like um, make it into a training material. So my role mainly is kind of like the bridge in between like the development team to the user later on. Yeah. Okay, well, talking about Catapult, I'm talking about its features. Is there anyone in particular that is your favorite one? And what do you think of those features of Catapult will going to drive us into becoming the best blockchain around? Um, I personally think really looking forward for the cross-chain swap features uh, for Catapult. So Catapult is a, a, a open source. So think about that like, you know, people just take the open source and create their own private chain. It's just like we're creating another apps on NAM blockchain. 
and all these uh, private chain can interact with each other through the cross chain swap. I think that like that would create a very good ecosystem, and that is is it just beautiful to see that. Yeah, I'm I'm personally looking forward to that. Uh, and and actually, would you think that will that will put us on the top on the top of the spear? Yeah, I I I personally do think so. I think that like is um, I think for cross chain swap or this uh, it has been like talking in the market for quite quite some time. People are looking forward for like way to do this, but um, different blockchain they would have like a uh, different algorithm. And sometimes to fork from a different uh, blockchain, it could be something that like take a lot of uh, times and knowledge as well. But for Catapult by itself, a lot of functions is already is already being built in. Okay. And then like you can like have like plugins for it, features uh, in it is like uh, configurable. So I personally do think with my knowledge about like others, I would think that it's pretty easy to uh, work with and with more chains around and it makes the, it makes, it says that if I'm a user and then I'll be able to have my chain, uh, blockchain and then um, create it according to my needs. But yet I do not need to be all in my own blockchain, but I can like interact with those uh, also like using Catapult technology as well. Okay, now we're improving, we're pr improving our algorithm and we're passing from POI to POS plus, okay? Mm -hmm. And that's actually an improvement, but can you tell us in, why is it a, a better feature? Because we used to say POS is not as good as POI, but now we're, we're working on a POS plus. How's that? Okay, first let's talk about POI. If you look into how POI works, which is a uh, proof of importance that like start by NAM, basically that is part of staking plus the transactions activity by each account. Yeah. So there is still some staking uh, features or, or, or element in it. It's an improvement from the proof of stake. So POS plus basically is well, there is still, of course, is still some staking elements in it, and it's another uh, uh, improvement from the POI. Basically, we just look into the like what we could improve from POI. From there, yeah. there is the improvement. The space. So, um, I wouldn't be able to talk too much of it as there's still some tweak that like we're trying to do here. So basically, it's talk. It will be able to involve more people in the importance calculations. Okay, and, and, and we're, yeah. we're gonna go back there, but, but, but tell me something, we're almost out. We're just uh, three months to mm -hmm. finally release Capital as a public, okay, as a public thing. We could, we're, we're on the verge to have one or two chains. What do you think is going to be, become that? Do you think it would be better to have two chains or just one? How do you think we, we should deal with it? I think that like that is, personally, I do think that like there is no harm to have no, both. No, no, that's here. We're just talking about our, just our opinions, okay? Yeah, there's, I don't think there's no harm to have like uh, both chains. That is good in NAM1 as well. That's why is uh, the features are more mostly still within the NAM2, which is a catapult. Okay. And uh, whether the name one is going to be continue to be maintained, I think that like the community need to involve in making the decision as well, because that, like the community is the user. So they do have to share, uh, have like, a, they do have like a, a say in where it's supposed to go. And after all, blockchain is all about distributed and about the community. Actually, that's a pretty important thing that what you're saying is that we should involve our community in taking that yeah. decision as well. Yeah, I, I think that like uh, the, the voice from the community is important and like what they need. If they do think that like they they are happy with uh, NAM1, it serves their purpose and they do not do want to continue with it, 
Well, by all means, is go ahead and continue with that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, now be before we we speak a little more about the community and uh, and specifically for for about the the, the developers community, uh, we're we're about to have a blockchain that is mostly a hybrid blockchain. Okay, Catapult has has many features uh, of being a hybrid blockchain. Okay, is that a good thing to make us uh, have uh, th that huge success? We're all waiting with Catapult in the fintech industry. Do you think you really think that would help us? Mm, yeah. Oh, come on, throw a bone here. <laughs> um, you, you're talking about like in, in what industry, like? No, 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 we're talking about fin the fintech industries, like yeah, okay. things like, like like this, like like, like these corporations that are that are are needing desperately for okay. a, 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 a pretty one, a, a pretty one and easy to 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 deal with blockchain platform. Yeah, I, I think that like uh, when people are talk, talking about blockchains, it's like um, cut the void. They're gonna think about like cryptocurrency that is fintech. Um, I think that like hybrid blockchain is also very beneficial for like government agencies where they do need the hybrid and sometimes uh, enterprises where they do need certain, uh, a certain level of transparency as well. It's normal that like people put their emphasis on fintech and because those are the area that like most people get their hands on and it's the biggest pie out there. So I think that like, um, yeah, why not, right? Well, that's, that's fine, yes, because, <laughs> well, we're, we're both agreeing in that, in, in, in that part. Now, now Ivy, you, you're a trainer and you know developers firsthand, okay? Because you're going all around Asia, joking about being an, an evangelist of, of Catapult, and this, that's the finest of things. Now, how do you think we can have a bigger developer community devoted to Catapult, devoted to NIM. How do you think we can grow as a developer community? Community, community is always very important for anything to grow, I would think so. And um, basically a community would stick together basically because they have like the same interest and they have like the same goal. So, um, I think the first thing is to understand what interests them, what is their needs and wants, then to see that like how it goes according to um, them, needs and interests. That is that then when we have the common ground, that is where we can like work together and grow. So uh, know them and uh, understand that and find the common ground educate the community, work with them. I think that is the, it's a win-win situation in that sense. Well, thank you so very much to our own Ivy Fung, our, to our very special trainer. Ivy, if you have something, a final, some final words to tell our whole, com our whole community, please feel free to do so. Um, well, a little bit about like, a, my training experience, like all this, well, it's coming to my one year service with NAM now. So for the past half a year, I have been actively doing trainings to universities, as well as to um, system integrator. So now we are actually moving as well to an online platform that I can, I've been like uh, pretty busy working with the other team as well like uh with another uh well that's well that's a good scoop you you get you just yeah. get us yeah so um the next that's gonna keep me busy for the next few months so we hopefully gonna get that ready before or launch together with the catapult public testnet launching well hopefully hopefully well well that's <laughs> nice well, that, that's pretty <laughs> nice to hear and we also well well, we're, the, uh, we're expecting to have you pretty soon again. 
not in just this show, but, but in our shows uh, about the NEM community. Well, we have to thank again to Ivy Fong, and my name is Alexis Trujillo, and we'll be seeing each other again in some other chapter of the Catapult series behind the code. See you soon.